Right, we're back in. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we're back in. Eleven. EA ninety eight. Um, I've read a bit by torchlight. It's a bit dark in here. I guess we could open the hatches, I suppose. It wasn't much of an improvement. Right. I'm looking in more of a video diary for myself, just in case. Well, I don't think I'll ever get Bowman stuff to go in here, but who knows? <coughs> but uh, this is the table that I want to take out. I'm looking in my torchlight. Um, that's what I thought was the keypad holder. I think that's a intercom box and that ink is a display um, and the radio, oh no actually not the radios that would be here um, I think it's all part of the, no it would be an IB3, IB2, one, no yeah IB2, IB3 but no actual radios mounted in the radio table anymore but either way this is they're not the right table for clansmen, so it's going to come out. But the biggest problem is, what do I do with all these wires? Uh, there's some big heavy duty cables, it all goes around all this ducting. It's all down behind the um, ventilation bit there. So, not sure what I'm going to do with them. Cause either I cut them all out and go all the way out and along the bit, down and all the way around. Oh, I ran that way. I'm not sure. Or somehow I back feed them on themselves somehow, and I don't know. It seems a sh yeah, there's a lot of wiring, a lot of cost. Maybe I should have just bought one that had Clansman in it. Okay. But we like challenges. So, what have we got? This bit of wire in here goes around the back of there and goes into this oops, torch in space. All this little lot here. That's more wiring and all up here goes around there. King comes around to this lot and goes around there. These two big cables come down here. Go along here. And that's what to do with VHF. Uh, some more cables here, that group brown one ink is for yes, VHF radio, coaxial one. So, <coughs> it's another one there. Well, I never thought they had radios here, but it looks... It could be, unless they were like the um, Chuam or something. It looks like it's got enough for two. But looking at the... probably can't see it, but there was some like markings some it's been and they're not the same they're not similar they're different and i'm sure i've seen boxes with them in a stillage at the back i took it away and it showed what is actually here i got the photo somewhere <coughs> and anyway i'm going to start taking this little lot out and see what wires i end up with to be honest what sort of mess and i'm going to work out what because obviously all the clansman wiring has gone. So you got to... That bracket still sits and would mount a 12-way box. Try and be up in that corner there. And I thought it would fit there. And the IB3's up there. IB2. So... Um, Oh, and then you'd have your commander's box, which I'm looking at, and I can't think. Oh, oh those bolts look too wide apart. Let's have a look at 10 EA15. See how the commander's box is fitted. I think it was that far back. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll work it out. But I see there's more than black wires up on the back there. They would come out. So they go up around there in the back of the bulkhead. <coughs> but 
basically I'm just be left with loads of wires. So, oh well, let's go and do that right there. And clip all this wire in, tuck it all round. See what's what. Right, let's get to it. After about 20 minutes, there it is. Table is out. Let's get the torch. See all the wine that we got left over. Or anything. It's so. Clansman stuff so bare. Nothing left. Whatsoever. Cable's going up there as well. Those out. So, right. I had to do something with these. Uh, well, not break it out there, out the way. I had to do something with this. Uh, this wiring. Right, we're back. Now got an empty space. Where the radio table should be. All where it's gone. <laughs> there it all is there. Drag through. Don't know what I'm going to do with all that. Another bit there's a. Uh, Filter some area wire in there, but I just need to get outside and drop it out of the mount area mount outside. I've got the bracket there that's going to be for the toy box, which is pretty standard. And looking at the wiring that goes from there to the um, Firewire wire control box is there, comes up from the bottom. <coughs> um, also, luckily enough, is the plug. Oh, we... It goes to. Should go to the little distribution box. It's there, which I've got. Uh, I think. So then it's just mount that, put that in, and then it's, it's the white wires that go to the. So I need three pairs go down to the radios. Pair goes up to the IB3, IB2, IB3. And then I need another set that would go over to the loudspeaker. speaker. So that's one, that's four, five, five two, wires, sets of wires. The only other thing I'm not sure, there should be one of those little boxes over by the fire extinguishers, vehicle fire extinguishers mounted over there. So you can have equipment set over there. That plug, I think, is gone. Pretty certain of that, actually. It's a shame. Um, basically, it's not too bad. I just need the wires from that box. Ouch. Uh, question is. Should I paint this while it's all empty? Don't know. 
Right, not the best light in the world. But it's the Klansman radio table in. Very awkward and very heavy to get the other one out and that one back in. Uh, there's the electrical distribution box back in. Um, there's the 12 way connector box back in. Connected to the wire fire. Fire wire. At the bottom. I don't need that. Goes to right there. That's that in. Just got to put an earth to there to there. Because I've used the later bracket. Um, so there's the power lead. <coughs> in looks my things, I found the lead that will go up to the IB3. But for some reason, I can't. I haven't got an IB3 yet, or um, commander's box fixed. So next one down here, I'll have to bring those. Say the table's in. Um, that's it. It's gone pitch black outside now. So I'll try to call it a day. Right. Let's go put everything away. We'll see you soon.